Hello everyone, this is Rosaina Haji and welcome to another episode on the Minority Taste. Today I'll be taking you to Sri Lanka to my grandmother's kitchen to make something so so special. Now, if you have if you guys have watched my older videos where I make the tripe curry, which is really really famous with the Sri Lankan Malay community and it's unique to Sri Lanka. There's a little controversy behind it because some Sri Lankans are saying that this is not really Sri Lankan food. But we are, we are Sri Lankans. There's so much that the Sri Lankan Malay community has offered to Sri Lanka, especially when it comes to food. The most famous dessert from Sri Lanka is Batlapang, which is from the Sri Lankan Malay community. Then there's another sweet called the Dodol, which is really celebrated by a lot of people. That is from the Sri Lankan Malay community. The Sarong and the Batik, which is which has become a substantial business is all from the Sri Lankan Malay community. Then there's the famous Acharu, which is a pickle. Acharu, as per se, is Malaysian origin and Acharu, that is, which is pickled fruit, is sold all over Sri Lanka. And even the Munkeum is from Malay origins. Pastel is basically a patty or a patties. It's connected to the Dutch origin, shaped like the empanada. Am I saying it right? Please let me know. <laughs> you can make this the way you like it. You'll see it when my grandmother is teaching you guys. Let's go to Sri Lanka to my grandmother's kitchen and make the very famous and most requested pasta. So this is the main ingredient. It's babat and tripe. Tripes and the lungs. Babat, tripe and lungs. Okay. Or accordingly as you wish. Okay. There is no quantity, as we wish we can use that. 250 grams of mixed meat. Okay, so what we mean by mixed meat is we use tripe and lungs and it's called babat. So this is the original version, but people can use their, what they want, right mommy? Anything they can use. Okay. They can use any meat. They can use any meat. So you have to cut it into really, really tiny bits like this. So the lungs, the tripe, everything has to be cut. So as you can see, this has been boiled in just water, we bit of chili powder, about one teaspoon of chili powder, one mm. teaspoon of coriander powder, mm. and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, okay. and salt, and some tamarind, and garlic, ginger, and syrup. So if you haven't seen how to wash and clean uh, tripe and lungs, you always can check my previous video of how to make babat curry. And this is the end result of the cut, the, the cut boiled and mixed tr meat. So there's lungs here, there's tripe here, what else? Yeah, babat. Babat. And you can put meat, Okay. everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it shouldn't be too dark and shouldn't be too light. The texture should be just beautiful, slightly brown, golden color. Just like the brinjal, these potatoes also should be golden brown and uh, not mutton overdo. There should be a golden brown color. So a lot of people get very confused with patties and pastel. Although they are in the same family, that this is the main reason it's different, right? Because of the dough, we put coconut in it. Because for the and patties dough, we don't put coconut. 
called pastor because pastor. it's a Malay food, a Malay ancient food. It's a Malay ancient food. A mm -hmm. lot of people does not know this, and uh, it's a very popular food at one time. Yeah. Even now, people like it. You mix this to be like bread crumbs, mm. and then add water gradually. So add water. Add add little. No, no, more, no, more. No, huh? no, 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 no. I will taste up until then. Mm. After it's mixed, it, the dough should look like this, a non-sticky dough. Yeah, so it's not sticky yeah, yeah, it's at not all. Sticky, it's yeah. not sticky at all. See? Mm. It doesn't stick at all. See how okay. it's clean. The hands are clean. Okay. But the dough is done. So we have to let the dough rest a little bit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Till then we can start cooking our stuffing or the stuffing curry rather. Uh, so we have to allow the brinjals and the potatoes to rest and cool off a bit in order for it to be able to absorb all the flavor while cooking. We are also going to need just a little bit, maybe half a cup of tur dal. It's also known as pigeon pea. Just parboil it because you need that bite for the stuffing. Now into a heated pot, it can be a clay pot or a wok or any stir frying pan, you add about three tablespoons of pure coconut oil and we can start making our stuffing curry. When the oil is hot, you put your curry leaves, chopped Bombay onions, ginger and garlic chopped really finely and then you start stir frying everything. And you have to saute that. Until you keep mixing, till it turns into a brownish golden brown color. Now when it's sorted, now you what do we do? Add one one teaspoon of coriander powder. Okay. One teaspoon of chili powder. Mm -hmm. One teaspoon of homemade curry powder. Dry roasted. Dry roasted curry powder. Homemade curry powder. Oh, yes. Then you Is it a must because people don't make mm -hmm. homemade mm -hmm. stuff? Yes. Is because it a must that it, you put? It, it is a must if you want to get the real taste okay. because we are used to this kind of way. So we add the cut meat mm -hmm. into that temper. temper and then mix it well. And then you add the potatoes. So your potatoes, your brinjals. And the parboiled. Parboiled lentils with lentil a little bit of water. water. How much of water? About uh, three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of water, okay. It should be a dry curry. Now this is how it should look. So this is yes. the final... Now it's done, but yes. you have to leave it for about 5 minutes. Leave it for about 5-10 minutes. 5-10 minutes? 10 minutes. Then it is well coated with yeah. all the ingredients. Okay. And the, all the items are mixed well. Uh -huh. Then it's done. Okay. So this is done. This is yes. the end result of the curry. You can say it's a filling, the pastel filling. The pastel filling. You can make a smaller version of it, but the original authentic way is the pastel is a little bit larger in size. So we've sectioned the dough accordingly, but in reality for 250 grams of flour, you can make up to about 10 to 15 pastels, but it will be really small. But we today we are going to do the authentic way and make it a little bit larger.
so as you can see it's like really big it's the size of my palm but you can make it smaller it's up to you but the authentic original way is really really big so now we're putting the stuffing in the stuffing so it's a quite a lot of stuffing right got it you got it to the okay. size so what is that that is just flour and water right water. just to stick the dough together together okay now it's done mm -hmm. And you fold it over. And then you press it. Press it really well and then, tighten yes. it. And then you can mark with the with a fork. Yeah. So this is where it makes a uh, like a connection with the patties because of the shape of it. Yes. But the filling and the dough is completely different. different. Right, mommy? No, it, it's that is why it's called pastol because everything is different. Although it looks the same, like the patties. Mm-hmm. But the dough and the mixture is all made in a different way. But there is a history and a connection for this, for this and it. the patties and the pastel. So this is the original version. So it has to be the size of your palm. See? So that is the size of it. So this is coconut oil. You pure had to put coconut pure oil. coconut oil. So you had to put ample of it to fry this large pasta. Deep frying. Yeah, deep frying. So how long does it take? Usually it take five minutes. Each side five minutes. Ah, okay. So each side five minutes. So that's about ten minutes. But it depends, right? So yes. you have to just wait it's until it's golden brown. Yes. When you know it's correct. Okay. When it comes to the correct color. Don't let it to get overcooked. Okay. It should be golden brown, beautiful color. Then you can take it off. Lovely color. So this is the like the. Be, yes. This is the perfect this is the color? color. This is the real color. This is the real color. Okay. You can have this either for tea, breakfast, ah. or dinner. It's so delicious and it's usually really, usually everybody likes it. So it's like a, because it's like a big yes, it's it's a full thing. meal. It's a, it's so it's like, like a big bun, and it's very it's very fulfilling, right? It's because fulfilling. everything is there: potatoes and all the potatoes. vegetables and meat mm -hmm. and. All the stuff is there. Yeah. So, so it's, it's filling, uh, and, filling nourishing. and nourishing. Okay. And everybody who likes it <laughs> loves it. Yes. It's a lovely food. Anybody will like it. So as you can see, this is the big pastel and I'm going to Can you hear how crispy it is? It's very crispy and quite flaky and that is how the real pastel should absolutely delicious it may not look like it but trust me it's really really good it's so fulfilling and really delicious please give it a try subscribe to my channel share this recipe with other yeah. food lovers yeah uh -huh.